My name is Job. I'm uh, the founder of Studio Job. Um, I'm the half, uh, the other part of me is Nienke, Mrs. Smeets, because we're married. And, uh, and we are in Milan. Some say our work is different. I don't know. I just do the work, obviously. And uh, I just, you know, do my stinking best and try to be, you know, try to be genuine and innovative and authentic. Not even innovative, that sounds so technical. You know, when we started, it, it was very simple. When we started, we wanted creative freedom. And the only way to reach creative freedom was to start design sculptures. Because when you do a sculpture, each sculpture can be a unique piece. That's perfect. Not for economical reasons, but it's perfect for creation. Because then every time you can start designing a new piece. And maybe even produce it yourself, because otherwise you're so dependent on others, you know. You're depending on the, gu on the guys who have that machine and they can only do that. And you have to, you know, are dependent on another guy who likes to invest in in a laser, so you can only do laser. I just wanted to do anything, I mean. So I wanted, we wanted to be free. And so we, we started to knit, you know, how do you, not knit, but clay, uh, you know, create sculpt, sculpt pieces and cast them in bronze, because, you know, as in plastic, in bronze you can make any shape you like. Although plastic is for the industry and bronze is for the art world, so there was a little issue there. But I thought, okay, let's turn that issue into something beautiful and you know, introduce this, the sculpture and design. That's what we did. And uh, now we're sitting here in a total design environment. And I believe we have uh, 35 or 40 products we did for more shown here. So, I mean, I'm a happy artist and a happy designer. I don't have any distinction in my mind of being an artist or a designer. I really don't care. When you are trying to, uh, let's say, separate the art from the design, in fact you are creating a ghetto, no? And that's always a bad thing to create uh, ghettos, to create borders. And, uh, you know, we know it from politics that that doesn't really function. So, you know, at least let not have borders in, uh, in the art world or in creation. We work already with Moy since uh, 2006, I believe. And we started off with the paper furniture collection. When I was at the academy, I did not have the money to you know, afford expensive materials. So I went to the shop and got old boxes and made furniture of it. So that, and on the other hand, the first thing you learn in kindergarten is to fold little papers or to work with paper. So it's a very authentic approach. So we started off with paper. Paper furniture was, let's say, a very nice success. Then we, you know, I thought it was time to do a chair because we, we, we don't have chairs at Studio Europe. It's so crazy. Only bronze chairs, you know, that cost a fucking fortune. But we, we don't have a chair. So I thought, okay, let's do a middle, middle medieval chair in plastic. And Moy did it in ten different colors, so it looked really industrial. It's really interesting. You know, and then I thought, okay, let's do some, you know, German hand-painted furniture. And then we did it with more. They're all hand-painted pieces. So, in a way, the more pieces are becoming a little bit more sculptural. Even if you look at it today, the Bucket Lamp series, for instance, it's a mixture. And there's even brass already, you know. It's industrial brass, but it's a mixture of wood, of paper, of brass. So it's quite interesting. So... I think that uh, the pieces we do for Moy and also for other producers are becoming a little bit more sculptural. Also because we are allowed to do shit like that. I mean, five years ago, when I would came off with a bucket upside down on a, on a fucking wooden pedestal, they would say, man, you'll do it in your own work. You won't do it here, you know? So now we can do it. I think that has to do with, uh, let's say, trust or I don't know. We are getting old people, you know, Marcus. You know? People intend to trust you when you're over 40. No?